reputed to be one of England's most haunted locations. We join Dead Haunted Nights at Mickleham Priory. Mickleham Priory dates back to 1229 and was occupied by Augustian canons until the dissolution of the monasteries in 1537. There have been many alleged paranormal occurrences here, including the presence of Thomas Sackville, a former owner of the residence, and a grey lady who haunts the gatehouse and bridge over the moat. There are also tales of poltergeist activity where windows are said to open by themselves and objects mysteriously move on their own. <laughs> Welcome to Mitchellum Priory. With the team assembled, Mark, Leanne, Angel, Sam and Gary begin the first vigil in the ground floor dining room. What we'll do is we'll just get used to the areas we're in um, and then we'll try Doing some like sounds and calling out. And, uh, Are you picking up anything? Already? Anything at all? I th well, I thought something. Yeah, I must be. I saw. I thought yeah. I caught the glimpse there. Yeah. That's it. It was split second, mm -hmm. and it was just to the. You've got the door frame, but it was like at the right hand side of the door frame, so near the wall. Yeah. I thought I saw it as well, which I thought was. Oh, it was. Oh, it was you saying it? Oh, I can't wonder it was. I picked up a name. What have you got? Emily. Say it again. Emily. 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 I don't know if it's a. I, I know it's a. I don't know if it's woman, girl. I don't know. Age. I just got the name Emily. Yeah. Just what, got so nothing. Name. It's paranormal because it wasn't either of them, but it's about same. I house. saw it as well. Yeah, but it's it was that same height. We saw. Either. We saw something just in this doorway. In the doorway, but on the right side, I've got a name. Let me go back down where I was, and you can see. Oh, so you were sitting. Okay. I'm here now, but I wasn't. I was down there. Bob's gone. That's what him have you now. got that's reflecting on your waist? Is it a belt or something? I don't know. Because there are three got dots, here, Yeah, there? I think mm. he's got... That's definitely his coat. But whatever that was, absolutely sure. I've got the name Emily, and I've got a head, 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 head injury, but I can't tell you age. I've not got an age, which is unusual, because normally I get an age, but all I've got is a name of Emily. I don't think it's... I think it's older than, like, five, six. I think it's older than that. That's all I'm... I couldn't tell you the age going up, but I've got to say about head injury. That's it. Playing back the dictaphones we had set up, we were intrigued to hear three possible EVP recordings. <laughs> what do you think? We're going in the kitchen now to do a communication circle. I'm not quite sure where we're going to do it though, because it's, it's quite nice and warm in here. It's a bit like somebody got a cloak and you couldn't figure out where the face was, but it's just like it's head spelled. down. But it was going from that corner and it just moved very slightly as if it was walking along the corridor. That okay, we're going up to the first floor at Mitchell and Priory. Yeah. Now it actually goes right down yeah. to the bottom floor yeah. and it comes out in the fireplace. There's a hatch. What so uh, there's a secret passage. Was there? Yeah, so don't go down through the hatch because you'll literally fall into the fireplace. Okay, I'm just in the secret passage with Dad actually. Um, absolutely fascinating place. Very spooky. I'm going to go down and join him now. He's down there. See now that shit in itself because they just see my torch shine. I know we could really play, play silly buggers with them actually, like a noise. In here with us, could you make yourself known to us, making a noise? Could you touch one of us, throw something? Mm. 
See, most people just go down the pub on a Saturday night. You know, thing, yeah. what do we do? <laughs> Could you throw something? Throw one of these bits of rubbish that's on the floor here. I'm trying to remember our way out, actually. That's better. Well, well, we'll focus a bit. They won't mind, would they? Yeah, we'll just borrow that. Thank you very much. It's probably only six. Now, this spot is really, really cold. That's a significant change. It's freezing. But it's just gone to me. It wasn't when I first came here, yeah. but just when I've done that and hung there. Is there any spirit around us who'd like to communicate? Can you please tap the floor, make a sound? We were hoping we're not intruding. Yeah, we keep we, hearing yeah, it. Yeah, we keep hearing it, but it's like a rumble. Four, four oh one five. Fifty. It's going right up to fifty. Thirty nine. Forty six. Fifty four. Fifty five. Fifty one. Forty eight. Forty six. Forty two. Forty five. The back room on the first level. Yeah. What will happen? I've never got scared in my life. What, what happens? Why? I can't get out there fast <laughs> enough. At the same time, head to toe body rush, and it felt like something could hey, swung my leg. But pulled her legs and dangling through. <laughs> her battery was drained, drained on the camera mm. while we were in there. Yeah, but I said to her, the battery do drain on cameras very quickly sometimes. Oh, okay. Okay, this is something to do with confinement, confinement and sick, but nothing to do with baby or crib. Mm. Consider there's a crib in here, but I've not got anything to do with that. Okay, it's outside and it's cold and we're going to the gatehouse. <laughs> going up the friary <laughs> is a euphemism. Yeah, I'm going to lock my camera off on it as well. That's better. Right. Okay, we can try a little bit of glass divination. To move the object that we tap. I'm sorry. Sorry. This chair's here. Can you please indicate your presence by moving the glass on this table? Please use our collective energies. You'd be very welcome. We're here utter respect. We're not here to gloat or make fools of you. Please could you move the glass on the table? <laughs> Sorry guys. But you look quite evil over there actually. <laughs> Looking at the light on your face. <laughs> Try it. If you want us to leave, move the glass. If you're not happy with our presence here, move the glass, let us know how to move the glass more than that if you want to now. Come on, scare us. Please just move it slightly. Use our energy, you can do it. Did you die here? If you're male, can you move the glass? If you're female, can you move the glass? Jesus Christ. Look <laughs> <laughs> at these bloody chairs here. <laughs> trying to film me, huh? <laughs> Sorry. As you make this table shape, can you do it again? Do it more violently. I'll move the glass. Oh, wouldn't it be great just to scream now? <laughs> wouldn't that freak everybody out? That's the normal side of me. Good to meet you there. Can't be honest. I don't think there's anything there. No, I don't think there's anything there. No, I don't remember. Really. No. <laughs> I, really I just don't think. I'm not feeling anything anyway, generally, I don't know. So you're just very light touching it. 
very lightly touching yeah. it. Yeah. The only thing it's I can feel very is very my finger cool. pulse, and I know it's my finger. It's mm. nothing else. It's like pulsating at the end. It's not the glass. Um. I don't think there's anything here. I'm that light. I can move my finger across. So. Mm. I often just say that. <laughs> Nothing really. Nothing. I've my face. Why don't we try it with everyone? Yeah. We'll try it with everyone. Yeah. Combine yeah. our energies. Yeah. If you used to live or work at the Priory, can you please move the glass? Touch somebody, bang on the table, dance on the floor. Aside from the interesting EVP recordings, Mickle and Priory had offered little in paranormal activity. Even so, it was an interesting location with a rich and fascinating history and a further visit to the Priory is definitely needed. <laughs>